Pepperdine's Stacey Davis is on pace to become one of Pepperdine's all-time leading scorers and rebounders. For someone who rarely was the best player on his team growing up, that is a big accomplishment. But none of his success would be possible without his mom. Davis and his mom's bond grew closer after a scary day during his junior year of high school. Amanda Blackwell has the story. Stacy Davis can remember the moment his basketball game changed for the better. Growing up, you know, I was never really the best one on my team, never really shined like that until I kind of got to high school. And then um, I got to play on the Arizona Stars. That's when I kind of got my first taste of actual competition. I played against Michael K. Gilchrist, Austin Rivers, you know, people like that. And I was like, if I'm going to, you know, be playing against these guys, I don't want to look like a bum. You know, I don't want to look like the, you know, the worst man on the court. So, you know, I just kept working and kept working. The work paid off and soon Davis was getting serious looks from colleges. But during his junior year of high school, basketball was forced to move to the background of his life. I get home from school and um, I was at my grandma's house and my granddad tells me that my mom was in the hospital. He said that she had a stroke. I didn't really know like the magnitude of what a stroke was. And so I was like, okay, hopefully, you know, she'll be fine. And then, you know, the first day where I actually got to see her, she was in ICU and she saw me, but she, she couldn't speak. She was saying things, but it wasn't, you know, actual words. And, you know, I broke down and cried, you know, the hardest that I ever broke down in my life. Davis decided to change schools for his senior year to be closer to his mom, even with the possibility that he may have to forego his final high school season due to transfer rules. I was willing to sacrifice my senior year just, you know, to, to be closer to my mom and, you know, to help her out. And at that point, I had already played my last year, my last summer of uh, club ball. I had already, you know, kind of gotten all the offers that I was going to get. Everything worked out for the best. Davis was allowed to play his senior season and his mom began to recover with her family by her side. She recovered really fast and we have a stronger bond now. You know, it's like my best friend and so whenever I see her, she has a smile on her face. That's my lady right there. While his mother continued to recover, Davis decided that he would go to Pepperdine with his family supporting his decision. It was a no-brainer and we continued to recruit him and uh, we ended up going into his home, met his parents and his family and just sold everything about Pepperdine. And I, I remember like it was yesterday, and his mom just fell in love with everything Pepperdine had to offer. I wanted to be a part of something, you know, I wanted to be a part of a change. You know, I saw that Pepperdine hadn't really been good in the past couple years, but they did have a rich history of being good. And so I wanted to be part of that group that kind of brought it back and, and brought pride back to, you know, the Pepperdine logo. I feel like, you know, we're making strides. The waves are making strides indeed, and it's no secret that Davis has been a big part of the improvement. There's no doubt it's a big correlation, and he's been a big part of it uh, from day one as a freshman. And because he's such a good guy to be around, it made it easy for them to, to be with him and to play with him, and because he's such an unselfish player. He's a great guy uh, around school, too. I think this year our team in general is um, a lot more connected with our students, and Stacy's a big part of that. He's kind of intimidating, um, you know, with his big voice, he's strong. But I think once, like, people start to uh, get to know him and see what a nice guy he is and come to the games. It's really what we've been trying to get out of this campus. In his junior season, fans may have noticed a slim down Stacy Davis, which is all thanks to some hard work with the strength and conditioning coach over the summer and his new favorite workout, yoga. Instead of just being basketball oriented, basketball oriented, I wanted to you know, take my mind off of basketball and do something that was you know, equally as strenuous on my body. and. Um, that was yoga. He's addicted to yoga. He rooms with Sean Olden. He gets up early in the morning when we're on the road and he tried to get Sean to do yoga at 7 a.m. And Sean tried it for 10 minutes and said, I can't do that. But Stacy does it religiously every day and you see the difference. Davis has made improvements and accomplished goals every year he's been at Pepperdine. But there's still more he wants to do. Well, for one, I want to surf. I, uh, I still haven't done that. On a serious note, I definitely want to, you know, make it to the NCAA tournament. You know, I want to win a conference championship. As a kid growing up, you, you watch college basketball and then you see the NCAA tournament, and you're like, oh yeah, I'm going to be there one day, this and that, you know. I have goals of getting there, but then when you get to that level and you realize how hard it is, it becomes even more gratifying when you can actually make that happen. For the WCC This Week, I'm Amanda Blackwell. Thanks, Amanda. Davis is having another terrific year. He's in the top 10 in WCC in scoring, rebounding, free throw percentage, all while leading Pepperdine to a surprising season.